Let's continue formatting our worksheets and workbooks. So here we are working with the Excel 1.3b file and we're going to play with uh, headers. So our challenge now is to create a header that will print on all pages of the worksheet except for the first page. So one thing to know is when you're working with your worksheet here is you can go to view the view tab and within the view tab if we change to the page layout view I'm gonna click here and assuming that you're scrolled up high enough you can click here to add a header so let's try first of all on the left side of the headers which is over here let's enter today's date so as soon as you click in here you'll see there's a header and footer tool up here in this design tab I'm gonna click here I'm gonna add the today's date and just look for the different buttons here if you'll be able to find the date here it is current date click and you see this funny symbol and percent square bracket date when you actually take a look at it by clicking out of the header you'll see it's today's date so let me click back into the header and you can see that there's a nice gray box area and Excel is automatically going to replace this with the real date it's going to dynamically change with the date so in the center section let's try entering the name of the workbook so I'm going to click here and the name of this workbook happens to be Excel 1-3b so let's take a look at this design tab again so let's look for the name of the workbook so there are two names here one is the file name which refers to the name of the workbook and there's a sheet name which is the name of the sheet so the name of the workbook would be this first name so I'm going to click on the file name so here it is and I click on file name and there it is now let's add the page number I'm going to click here on the right section of the header and look for the page number which is over here page number so I'm going to click back into the regular part of the Excel worksheet here and you can even change the view if I go to view normal you can see that the headers disappear you can't see them so if you want to go back and make some changes you can always go back to the page layout view again and if you scroll right to the top you should see there's the page number one I can even change that to space so I added a space here and I typed in of then I clicked on the number of pages so if you want to have page one of five or whatever the number is you can even do that let me click out of it page one of four that's that's an option but say we want to change this here the challenge is to change the fi this uh, file name or the um, worksheet name I'm going to press backspace or delete by highlighting it after highlighting it I'm going to replace it with a sheet name so let's click on the sheet name here Let's click out of it and you can see the sheet name is orders and there we have it right there now what if the challenge was to remove this so I'm going to remove these page numbers here press uh, delete after highlighting it let's click uh, and scroll all the way down to the bottom of this worksheet and you can see click to add footer so if you want to have page numbers in the footer we'll just say in the middle I'm going to now go to the design tab and type in page number so one last little point here is so let me just click off it yes the page number is there excellent so one last little point here is that what if you're challenged to have headers throughout the document you can see this is page one and if I scroll here this is page two the dates are repeating the I have the uh, sheet name here again repeating what if you want this to the headers to apply throughout your whole document for every single page except for the first page so let's go back to this first page here and I'm gonna choose this checkbox which you, sh you should be familiar with the checkbox here says different first page so if I by clicking this the first page header is treated differently than the rest so the headers normally if I go to the second page it will be applied to page 3 page 4 etc but the fact that I check this box 
will make the first page different. So now by doing nothing it's blank and this is nice because now on page two I still have my regular header information which repeats for every page but on page one we have nothing. Great jobs, you now have a better understanding of headers. The key is to remember that headers is found within the view tab, view page layout and also don't forget about that nice design tab checkbox about having a different first page.